How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech and also to another tech news video where I go up the latest news that happened in the tech world, keep you guys up to date on everything. Now we did take some time off for the last couple of days, but we're back today, so stay tuned for all the latest news. So recently people have been complaining about their AMD CPUs being automatically overclocked by their AMD GPU software. And now AMD has actually confirmed that as well. Now bear in mind that this feature is built into the AMD software to overclock everything in a one go. But usually when you do overclock the CPU, it gives you a big warning and ask for your permission before continuing. Now this time the software has overclocked the CPU without the user's permission and consent. Now this necessarily won't be a problem, but overclocking your CPU does avoid your warranty, which which is a bit of a problem if a possible something happens. Usually it doesn't, but sometimes it, it could. Now an AMD representative stated to Tom's hardware, we are aware of this issue in the AMD software suit that is adjusting our certain AMD processor settings for some users. We are investigating the issue and we'll share more information as soon as we are able. Now I don't necessarily think it's gonna be that big of an issue, but just make sure about your CPU that it doesn't also get it too hot and also damage sure the CPU in the process and of course obviously no Intel CPUs have been affected by this it's only AMD. Now it does seem like Unreal Engine 5 is going to be a major hit with developers. Last month CD Projekt Red said that they are ditching their own engine for the Witcher 4 and will run on Unreal Engine 5. Really excited for that. Yet another company is now dropping their own engine for Unreal Engine 5 as well as Crystal Dynamics has said that their new Tomb Raider will be based on Unreal Engine 5 instead of the their foundation engine. Now I'm actually super excited for this because the Tomb Raider games was always super visually appealing and, and everything. So Unreal Engine 5, again, being next level. So we'll definitely see how it looks and also for other games develop on it as well. 3D printers are a, a massive, massive business these days to get into. Even the hobby itself has a major learning curves. A uh, big reason why I haven't really done it so far. But one of the things that keep people hooked on 3D printing is creating something from nothing, but the drawbacks is that it does take a time. This might change as Anchor is planning to bring out their first commercial ready 3D printer. The Anchor Mega 5 is packed full of features. It even has a built-in camera for you to check up on your print. Uh, it will even uh, make a time-lapse video for your social media feed, which is pretty cool. The Anchor does also claim the print speed of 250 millimeters per second, which is uh, five times faster than quite a few uh, big uh, printing uh, names on the market right now. now I did launch on Kickstarter yesterday and you can get their early bird price up for $429, which isn't actually bad. Now, Anchor does also say that the retail is going to be around $760 or even more afterwards. Now it seems like YouTube's brand Vivo was hacked or something, as there were strange videos on a lot of the artists' channels. There were reports of a really weird clips of a Poco Sands, a Spanish con man sentenced to two years in jail after being convicted of a fraud for lying about having terminal cancer, and also rapper Lil J. All right, never heard of that. Now, although YouTube hasn't released any comment on the event yet, Vivio has acknowledged and said that some videos were directly uploaded to a small number of Vivo artists' channels earlier today by an unauthorized source. Now, artists affected by this were Lil Nas X, uh, Eminem, Drake, Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, Harry Styles, The Weeknd, Michael Jackson, Kanye West, and uh, many more. Now, the videos have since been taken off, but it's really weird though, and it does actually show that anybody can actually be hacked for the YouTube channels, and it's being uh, getting a real big issue these days. A lot of these uh, crypto scams and everything is uh, getting thousands of views and have a massive amount of subscribers, but they only have like one video on and this is where they actually get hacked. So other channels are being hacked and then uh, they're used to promote these crypto scams. So hopefully YouTube can do a bit more on this, but uh, I won't keep my hopes up, it's YouTube. <laughs> but now quickly, just a word from the sponsor for today's video. 
Are you looking for a newer gaming gear, whether it's peripherals, hardware, cases, and so on? Well, MSI has what you need, especially with their reasonably priced PCI Express 3 or 4 NVMe SSDs, like the M390 with a solid performance at an affordable price, which we also did a build on. For the case, the Gunnier 110M might just be the perfect fit for your newer build. It still has the same cool design as the 110R, but now with a mesh front that allows for increased airflow. Better yet, it's even more affordable. Now, if you're instead in need of a power supply, the MPG A850GF is ready for you with an 80 plus gold rating, a 10 year warranty, being fully modular and available in 650, 750, and 850 watts. Lastly, what about peripherals? Well, the GM41 wireless is the one you should check out. Not only is it wireless, but it's also lightweight, only weighing 74 grams, uses the PAW3370 new high-end optical sensor, a battery life up to 70 hours, and it comes with a cool docking station, so you don't need to worry about cables or anything like that, just dock it on there. So check out all of those with the link in the description below. And then next up, yesterday, the huge black market dark web website Hydra has been taken down by authorities. In a press release, it was revealed that authorities had sieged much of the site's server infrastructure, as well as some 543 bitcoins from this site, which is roughly around $25 million. Don't know why they kept it on the server and not on our offline wallets, but that's their own problem. <laughs> authorities say that they have been investigating the the illicit market activities since last August, with the help of several US agencies, including the Justice Department, the FBI, and the Drug Enforcement Agency. Now, this was a pretty bad site, full of money laundering, drug sales, with almost 17 million users. That's actually quite astonishing how many was on there. Now, the German police officially stated the illegal marketplace was a Russian language darknet platform that had been accessible via the Tor network work since at least 2015. So it took them quite a while to actually take it down. Uh, now its uh, sales amounted to at least 1.23 billion euros in 2020 alone. That's crazy. Now, in particular, the Bitcoin Bank Mixer, a service for obfuscating digital transactions provided by the platform, made crypto investigations extremely difficult for law enforcement agencies. But for how long will the site actually be offline? You know, the Hydra, cut up one ahead, two comes back, grows back. Well, we'll see. That's unfortunately the problem with websites you can always put them back online i don't think uh, most of us visit the dark web so i think we, it, it should be fine at least for us but uh, anyway moving on now we spoke about the unreal engine 5 earlier in the news but did you know that it's now available to the public uh, too all developers can now download the, the engine from epic and have two demos available as well the previous i mentioned matrix awakens and a lyra starter game with this new announcement gears 5's developer also showed off a new unreal engine 5 demo uh, running on xbox series x uh, titled the cavern now apparently Currently, the uh, sample renders at tens of uh, millions of polygons for what the developer says is a hundredfold increase in the detail, presumably compared to Gears 5. But again, Unreal Engine 5, I'm really looking forward to it, but you're going to need some decent GPUs as well to actually uh, showcase all of that. But again, super excited. Now then, something completely different is that the human genome has been completely mapped out. I have no knowledge anything about this, but it was pretty interesting. Now, something that took nearly 20 years to complete has finally been done, but what does this actually mean? In short, scientists can now make new discoveries in major fields like neurodegenerative conditions, aging, heart disease, and even a cancer. That last one is a pretty nice one. Although these discoveries are still years away, at least scientists have now a complete roadmap to work with. The full peer-reviewed paper is available in the Journal of Science. Although, again, <laughs> I don't think a majority of us will understand what is actually written there, but it is pretty interesting and it's at least cool to see some development in the field of human studies. <laughs> Hopefully they can actually finally cure cancer. That'll be a major thing for the world, but 
I'm not sure about that one. All of the, the money that goes into that. And then uh, finally, Noctua is uh, probably one of the best PC cooling companies out there right now and has uh, since then launched a new low profile CPU cooler. And on top of uh, that has spoken about AM5 support as uh, well. Noctua's CEO explained so far all our 120 millimeter class coolers were 158 millimeters high. But as of a reason, more and more PC cases only support up to 150 or even 145 millimeters. This is where the NHD12L steps in. He further said that simply lowering one of their existing models wasn't an option because of the standard square 120 millimeter fan that would cause a lot of issues with a motherboard heat sinks or shrouds. This is why we came up with this novel dual tower design and a a round of frame version of the NF-A12X25 fan that can be installed at a very low position between the two towers. A winning combination that provides impressive results for this high class. Due to this design, the NHD12L has no overhang on the RAM slots on Intel LGA 1700, 1200 and so on, and also AMD platforms including AM5. Now all of this means that there's easy access to the RAM and also full compatibility with uh, DIMMs that uh, feature tall heat spreaders for RGB lighting. So that's pretty interesting. <laughs> but uh, again, that's pretty much it for today's uh, tech news. Not too much that really happened. So if you guys enjoyed this uh, video, please like, subscribe and comment like uh, always. All of the links will be uh, in the description below and I will check all of you guys then on a Friday for another tech news video. Thanks for watching guys. I'll check all of you next time. Cheers guys.